Hi, welcome to Robin's Mobile Roost. I am still on the road and today I'm going to share with you a card that I made for one of my Do Stamper Stars challenges. This is a demonstrator group that I belong to and today's challenge was a layout and I started my card very simply um, with just a, a, a piece of paper and a little bit of cardstock. And this card would be perfect for beginners or someone who doesn't have a whole lot of um, tools and, and markers and everything. So I did want to share this one with you just because if you're a beginning stamper, this is somewhere to start. It's a perfectly good card. Of course, I looked at it and I thought, mm, I can do more. So I'm going to share with you how to make this card which is a little bit of a stepped up version. You can see it's basically the same card. Um, just swapped up some colors and added another layer and more stamping. So let's get started making this hot dog card. So we just need a few simple supplies. We're going to start with a real red card base that is eight and a half by five and quarter scored. I'm sorry, eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. I do it all the time, I don't know why I can't get those measurements right. And then we've got a piece of basic white that is a three and a half inch square. And we have two little squares of designer series paper. This is the um, Playful Pets. And these are two by two. And I just wanted to show you <clears throat> how to cut these. Now if your pattern that you're using for this design has an up and a down, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you cut one uh, of your squares from the top left corner to the bottom right and the other square from the top right corner to the bottom left. And that's so that when you layer them onto your card, all of your pieces are going to be facing the right direction. So we're gonna say that this one, these are, these are both facing up. We're gonna cut this one from the top left corner. And then this is going to be our top corner here and our bottom corner over there. And then we're going to take this one and cut it from the top right corner. And then we're going to be able to match these pieces up on the bottom and on the top and everything's going to be going the right direction. Now some, some paper won't matter if you don't have like a, a real pattern to the paper. Now we're going to start doing our stamping and we're going to start with the greeting. <clears throat> so we're going to take our um, tuxedo black and we've got our hot dog. It's your birthday. And we're just going to put this kind of in the triangle down here. And then we've got our cute little dachshund, our little hot dog. He's gonna go right on top of this. And he has this cute little um, hat. Maybe you call it a tam. I'm not sure, but we're gonna try to get that right on top of his head without me getting my head in the camera. Perfect. Okay, so now we have that. And then we've got these cute little paws and this was kind of an afterthought on my original card. So I'm not sure, I didn't quite um, have it all the way around but we're just gonna kinda go around the words here a little bit. We're gonna stamp all the way around the edge and the tips are going to be cut off because it's gonna uh, kinda uh, hang over our card. But we're just going to go all the way around. The top and bottom tips are going to be there, so you want to be um, more accurate on those. Okay, so now we've got our little paw trail. Now we need to do our coloring. 
So for our little guy, we're just going to take um, <clears throat> cinnamon cider and we're going to start with the dark and just outline all around him. Just like a single line. Do all of his tail in the dark. And then his back foot is going to be darker, so you're going to do that totally with the dark. And again, the back foot here. Go around the outside of his ear. We'll leave his ear light. And then we're just going to fill everything in with the um, the light cinnamon cider, the rest of his body. And I'm just using the brush tip to get everything filled. And then if you want to actually um, blend in the colors, you're going to go back with the um, marker tip and I like to use a circular motion and you see I just went out of the lines but I do have a, a cure for that too So if you've made a mistake and colored somewhere that you don't want, there's this cool color lifter marker and you just kind of push the color back into where it belongs. Cool, right? So then we're going to give him a red hat and I'm not doing any fancy coloring on this. I'm just coloring it in red. It's kind of small. so. And then, just to highlight the hot dog, it's your birthday, I'm going to take the um, brush end of a So Saffron marker and just kind of squiggle over it. And we're done with our coloring. And now we're going to do our layering. So he's going to sit right in the middle and now now is when we have to look at our direction on our little um, pieces that we cut and you'll see that they just kind of all um, match up where you want them And then once you have everything down, give it all a good rub. And then we have these edges hanging off. And we're just going to flip our card over and go ahead and take our scissors and trim them off. That way you have the exact right um, size. You could trim them earlier, but then you might be a hair off. So there is our cool hot dog birthday card. Now, you can also decorate the inside by taking a strip of the um, Playful Pets paper with the paws and the hearts on it and giving it a little greeting on the inside. So hope you've enjoyed this card. Hop on over to my store and purchase the supplies if you want to make one of these. Thanks for stopping. Have a great day.